Let's get to work, B. Let's get to work. Get to work. Happy Monday! Once again, Chris Noosh here with the Noosh Weekly Vlog. All right, so I'm getting a little bit of a late start today. I've uh, been getting caught up on some orders, sending out emails, and I went to the post office to drop something off, all in a normal Monday morning. What I'm going to do right now is I got something in the mail that I've been waiting for. I got a sample of something, and I want to check out what it is. They were offering uh, these for a little bit of a discount to sample it. It's something I've been wanting to see, but I didn't want to pay the price normally. So, let's open it up, check out what it is. I know what's inside here. Hopefully, you guys are stoked. Hopefully, I'm stoked to see what it is. All right, let's take a look. So, these are little bubble wrap. These are little acrylic pins um, from Sticker Mule. Let's see what they look like. They each have, it says they each have like a little protective film on, t on them, so I gotta remove that. But on, you know, just looking at it at first, they look pretty good. I'm gonna use my undo the protective film on this one. Got it off. Let me show you. So that's what we got. It's just a little uh, one inch acrylic pin. It's a print, I guess a little sticker. You can see there, it's clear glass. And then it's got a little pin back on it there. So yeah, they look pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to order more of them, but I might do these for like a giveaway this week. I've got 10 of them. So yeah, that's, that's mail day for today. Mail day for today. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, let me know what you think, if you'd be interested in, in these and let me know what design you would like to see done in these too. If, if this is something you're, you think is pretty cool and interesting, let me know. All right, so for all right, so for today, what I'm gonna do is uh, it's about it's about one o'clock, one forty-five, and I just I need to get started on something. Over the weekend, I started carving my new trick or treater, this little elephant here from last week. I only have the legs left to carve, and then the outside edges. So I'm just gonna finish this guy up and then uh, start getting ready for planning and doing other stuff for this week. It's the goal right now. Belvedere, what you doing? Come here, B. <whistles> come on, up, up, come on. Ugh. B got a haircut this weekend, and now it's time for me to start carving. Let's get to work, B. Let's get to work. Get to work. All right, finished with this elephant as a pumpkin. Look at him, all done. All right, moving forward from this. Um, I wanted, I started this vlog off a little low energy, a little unsure, not really know what I'm doing. I'm still kind of in that boat. It's only Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do this week. <sighs> it's about 4.23 now that I finished carving this. And I'm just gonna take the rest of the afternoon and take some photos, put some stuff online, gather my thoughts. I'm also gonna do that tonight, gather my thoughts and get something ready to work on tomorrow. I have a, I have a commission piece that I need to work on during this week as well. It needs to happen. I have actually I have two. I've, oh, I just remembered. Yeah, I do have, I have two like commission -y pieces that I need to do. So. Man, I might not have a lot to share with you this week. Last week, I know I said that, and it was a little bit true. This week might be very true for that. Um, but I'm gonna try to do some cool things with and for you guys, but bear with me this week as I have a number of other things that I need to take care of, but I'm just not 
permitted to share with you. I'm gonna gather my thoughts and I'll come back tomorrow with a plan. How's that sound? Ding dong, give me the candy. Hokey dokey. I said that on Tuesday morning, which now it is, I would come back with a plan. All right, here's my plan. I've decided to go with quality over quantity. So I'm going to do one more of the Trick or Treater um, Halloween animal series. One more there. Um, and then I'm gonna work on the commissions the rest of the week. Two commission carvings that I need to work on this week. And then I'm gonna do one more Trick or Treater t-shirt block that I need to sketch out for right now. And then I can get all of those out onto the board and ready to carve out for the rest of the week. That's what I'm gonna do. This week might be a little light, but last week was 25 minutes, so I may have done too much last week. I'll do too little this week. All right, came up with my sketch. Here we go. It is a little goat uh, eating its wrapping, dressed as a mummy. This one was suggested to me on one of my Facebook Lives that I did last week, and it was a great idea, so I went ahead and did it. There it is. Yeah. What do you think? I like the little teeth marks out of the wrappings. I had to throw a little pumpkin in there to, to make it cohesive with the other two carvings that I've done, which I think adds a level of, of fun to it, not just a, you know what's going on, not just a goat wrapped up in some toilet paper, but he's out trick-or-treating and he couldn't keep all his wrapping on, so. That's what I've come up with. I'm gonna draw this out onto a block for a t-shirt and then work on the other two carvings that I need to do this week. So, main thing that you're gonna see this week is right here, probably. Maybe I'll do more. Probably not, but maybe. Never know. I've got the goat up onto the board. I flipped it around because it's a relief carving and you gotta flip everything you do. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on this vlog, but yeah. With relief carvings, you gotta flip everything around. I gotta do a little bit of sanding on this before I draw. It's kind of rough. Um, but uh, I don't know if you noticed before, I put a bat on his butt. There's a bat on the butt. I'm gonna draw this up on the board. First, I'm gonna sand it. It's weird and ugh, gross. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna draw this out on the board now. I didn't want to go all day without turning on the camera, but today's Wednesday. I drew out everything yesterday onto the boards, and today I carved out the big piece that I was that I needed to work on this week. It's big; it's over two feet tall, so I can't show it to you. But it's done. Tomorrow I've got one more commission to do, but I think I can uh, start carving the goat mummy tomorrow too, so I can get back on track for the vlog tomorrow. All right, it's Wednesday night. And like um, like I said before, I spent all day today carving that really large piece. I still have one more commission to do. Um, and it's, it's about 10.51, exactly 10.51, not about, approximately 10.51 at night on a Wednesday night. And I'm, I'm finding it to be a little difficult to find the motivation to keep moving forward on stuff. I don't even know what week number, we're probably on like week number like 28 of, of uh, COVID world where I don't really have anything that I'm working towards or looking forward to. Um, it's, and it's, 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 uh, it's taken its toll on me, finally. I don't know, maybe not finally, maybe it's been a while, but just trying to get a creative outlet and I'm uh, just kind of hanging out and making stuff. And I haven't been able to show it to anybody except on the internet. And that's becoming harder and harder to do recently. So yeah, I don't know even why I came on to turn on this, but I guess just to say that I want to start carving this little mummy goat, which is all drawn out and spray painted. If you see the camera shaking, it's because Marty's bumping again. You wanna come up here, girl? I wanna, I wanna start carving that out, but I kinda just wanna relax. And I, I 
but I feel, feel like I should film myself carving it. So I'm probably gonna take the camera and put it up and start carving at 10.53 now at night. So anyways, I need to figure out a way to change things up. I don't know how to do that. I need to motivate myself. I think moving forward, one thing that this vlog, there's, there's one good and a bad thing that this vlog has caused me to do. It's made me accountable and it's made me uh, be productive through these past 28 weeks of just working for myself and being self-motivated with nothing else to, to look forward to, nothing to drive that motivation. So it's made me, it's made, it's helped me with that. But at the same time, it's, it's, um, it's made me, it's made me instead of create work that I want to do, not that I'm not doing stuff that I want to do, um, but I'm making work that is content driven rather than it's existing for art sake. So I think in the coming weeks, I want to slow down a little bit and, and really focus on making more finished works, I think is how I'm going to say it. Uh, more finished works, maybe spend a week making one specific piece rather than working on 12 different projects at a time. Anywho, anywho, that's where I'm at. But at the same time, I do have a lot of like commission things that are pulling me in a lot of different directions. It's difficult right now because I got to take all the little commission projects to keep to keep afloat. Yeah. Anywho, I'm going to stop thinking. It's easy to get into your brain at times and I'm going to get making. I want to carve this goat, carve this goat. Right, up close and personal. It is Thursday morning now. Last night, I got about that much done on my tiny little goat kid mummy piece. Um, today, I'm just gonna continue carving on this until that's done, and then I'll uh, think I have to print some stuff after that. All right, all finished with the little mummy goat piece. I wanna show you a couple little details that I think are fun. Um, I, let's start with the teeth. So I put little bite marks into the, the 
wrappings. So it looks like he was eating it. And there's bite marks there. And there's bite marks there. And you can't have bite marks without teeth. So I had to give him two little, two little teeth there on the bottom, which I think are fun and cute. Um, and then I've gone with the trademark strawberry toes that I've done in other goat carvings in the past. And it works really well. And then I've got a bat patch on the back to um, to kind of hint more towards the Halloween theme. A little bat back there. And also, its bucket is empty because it doesn't care about the treats. It's already got all it needs with the with the mummy wrapping. No candy for this little goat, this kid. So this is all finished. Oh, I also like the the hair, like a little kid hair up there. Anyways. This is all finished. It's all done. I'm not going to be printing today. I'll print tomorrow. I'll print this one. I've got some shirts to print. I also want to pull a couple prints on paper. So that's all going to be tomorrow. I don't really have enough time left today to do everything that I want to do. And I just want to do one printing session. So uh, this afternoon, I'm just going to continue working on the commission pieces that I have to do. So, yep, I'll see you tomorrow for the printing. Good news. It's Friday. Uh, today I want to do some printing. I want to print a couple of the t-shirt designs that I've done recently. I uh, just do a very small number of prints of those on paper. Some PayPal prints. Um, and then I've got some t-shirts to print as well. So that is the plan for today. That is the plan for today. Let me show you what I've got going. I've got 23 sheets of paper cut to um, whatever the width of the paper is by 16 inches. Each print is going to be 16 by 20, which is about that size. This much of it's gonna be the tail that I'm gonna to use to trap underneath the roller to print it perfectly, you'll see. This is the press bed. I've got a piece of birch quarter inch wood, which is the same wood that all the blocks are, that I'm printing today are carved out of. Um, this is a 16 by 20 inch sheet of paper that I've got laid down as my template. This is taped into place, isn't gonna be moving. I've got this lined up so that when I put a sheet of paper onto it, and line it up with uh, the bottom there, I can roll it through, trap it underneath the press. I've got this sheet of paper rolled under the press and trapped underneath so that when I want to print, all I have to do is Lift that up, it's not going anywhere. Slide the block into place and roll it through the press. I know the pressure's right on the press because I keep notes to myself here. Um, on this one, I'm using Reeves BFK paper and a quarter inch birch. So the settings are gonna be five over C, which refers to the micrometer settings that are on the press already. I'm using a Tackett Press Beautiful 36 by 24 tabletop press. And the micrometers are on the top of the press. Um, so five over C refers to the five on this dial, which turns left and right. And then the over C part is on this, on this little thing. So if I put it up one rotation, it'll be five over D. But let's put it back down to five over C, which is the right measurement. Now that I've got the press all set and ready to go, let's throw some ink out and get these prints pulled. First print I want to pull is the koala dressed up as a butterfly from my trick or, -treat trick or treating series. And this one's the most inked up from last week already. Not too much, but I just want to print this one first. I've already got it drawn out on the board for that. inked up. And now that I've touched ink, I don't want to touch this clean paper with just my bare hands, although I don't really have any ink on my hands right now. But what I like to do just to make sure getting the good habit of not transferring the ink to the paper is using a little fold up sheet of paper to grab and pull. And then I could slide this bad boy in there, position it correctly. And registration is not a huge issue. It's only going to be one color, so I don't have to worry too much. And then just roll it through the press. Bee's laying in his sunspot right there. 
Um, so I'm gonna grab the bottom of the paper with my little folded piece of protecting paper. And then the top is gonna get cut off later, so I don't need to worry too much about that. And just lift it up in one fell swoop. And there we go. This one printed a little light, but I don't mind that sometimes. I'd rather that than a little heavy, to be honest with you. So I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Hung it up on my drying rack right there. Boop, boop. And uh, now I just gotta do that a couple more times. I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll show you when I move to the next print, show you that, how that comes out. The koala trick-or-treater is all finished and now to print the elephant for the first time. And the elephant's all done too. Look at the little, uh, the little elephant skull on the treat bag. So fun. All right, last but not least, the one I carved this week, the mummy goat. I know I said the goat was the last one, but I lied. I'm gonna do the Viking warrior too. Got all the prints drying up back there, all done, all finished, all four different ones. I only pulled like four prints of each one, maybe five or six. I've got a handful of t-shirts to print and then I'm finished for the week. So as always, enjoy these t-shirts being printed and thanks for hanging out with me this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.